In this case, I'm going to talk about how you control gingival bleeding using 38% phosphoric acid. So this is a technique. You use this mosquito diamond and cut between each of the provisionals and you're going to take an elevator and just torque them and they'll pop right off. Remember we seeded the provisionals with adhesive, no primer, just adhesive, scotch bond adhesive. You didn't, I didn't etch the teeth. So the adhesive will come off in the provisionals. So she hadn't been able to floss them. And like I said, her home care wasn't the greatest. And she's had periodontal crown lengthening surgery 10 weeks before this. So don't worry about the bleeding. Right now you're going to pumice the teeth with pumice and water on a profi cup and just get rid of any little bits of debris on the teeth. I can't remember if this woman was taking aspirin or Midol or Advil or something for some other issue, but she did have a lot of bleeding and sometimes that's just something you have to deal with. So now I'm wiping the teeth with isopropyl alcohol. These preparations were all in enamel and this just removes any little bits of debris that you couldn't remove with the pumice and water in the Profi cup. Now I'm going to place 38% phosphoric acid which is one of the best hemostatic agents I've found and I discovered it by accident when I was seeding veneers one time. I'm going to leave this for 45 seconds then I'm going to rinse it with ice cold water in a plastic water bottle. You don't want to rinse it with your air water syringe or you'll stir up the bleeding again. If you still have bleeding I'll place it again for 45 seconds. So I don't place it for more than 45 seconds to a minute at a time and the objective is I want the bleeding to scab. Okay, so it's starting to scab here. So I'm etching these teeth with 38% phosphoric acid for 15, 45 seconds a tooth. I'm also placing it on the gingival tissue to scab the bleeding. You can see the bleeding has really slowed down just have a little bit of oozing, but you don't want any blood to get under the veneer. If any blood gets under the veneer, it'll make a dark spot and you'll have to redo that veneer. So you want to be sure there's no blood under the veneer. Having some scabbed bleeding is okay. This is ice cold water again, because I don't want to stir up the bleeding. This was, this is a good case to talk about that because I don't know that I've ever had a case that had this much bleeding. Normally it's just a little tiny bit and the 30% phosphoric acid stops it. So this was a this is a good case to look at. You can see it's scabbing. That's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time. It's time. It is time to take your dentistry practice to the next level and you know it. You just haven't known how to do it until right now. That's where DentistryMasterclasses.com steps in. At DentistryMasterclasses.com, Dr. Cutbreath is offering you his greatest work and his best cases. Here's everything that you're going to get when you subscribe to DentistryMasterclasses.com. Incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos, an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos, and Dentistry Masterclasses comprehensive cases for study and reference, and you're going to get before and after photos of Dr. Cutbreath's fantastic restored work. So, great deal. 40 bucks. That is it. For 40 bucks, you're going to get all of this. So go right now to dentistrymasterclasses.com and subscribe today and change your life, change your practice.